Hi, welcome back to Prophetic Utterance. I'm your host, Jacqueline King. It's a pleasure to be back, amen. As we enter into the midnight hour, we're going to command the midnight hour, amen. We're going to come against every satanic attack that is attacking us unknowingly and knownly, amen. So we must begin to decree the promises of God and declare our victories, amen. Because our Father, our Heavenly Father, has given us victories over everything amen there's nothing we do not have victory over because we have the victory we are not defeated amen the only time we are defeated is because we have allowed sin to remain in our lives because we have not chosen to repent amen to renounce the powers of darkness in our lives so we just thank god amen for a word of knowledge and wisdom we thank god that he is releasing us amen he is releasing us to come forth and begin to speak his word and take back what belongs to us in the mighty name of jesus for the violent take it by force in the mighty name of jesus amen the kingdom of god suffer violence and the violent take it by force so tonight we just giving god the honor and the glory we just praising god we just giving our father adonai elohim the praise this morning we just thanking him for everything he is doing in our lives. Amen. Because we are not limited in God. There is nothing in us that is limited. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So we just praise you Father. Glorify you. As we enter into the midnight hour. We are going to worship you. In spirit and in truth. Amen. Let's begin to worship God. In spirit and in truth. Hi, welcome back to Prophetic Utterance. I'm your host, Jacqueline King. We're going to get into some quick prayer points. I mean, we're going to command our night, command our morning, command our day. I mean, we're going to command the midnight hour. It's so important to pray before you go to bed. I mean, no matter how tired you are, you should pray and begin to speak the power of the blood of Jesus over every area of your life. Amen. But most of all, it's important for us to repent in Jesus name, you know, acknowledge the sin that we have committed. Amen. And just ask Father to forgive us of the sin that we have committed. Whether it was willfully or unwillfully, we should still repent. There's always something going on in our lives that the enemy can find legal access to bring havoc and destruction to us. Amen. Just because we don't take the time to pray. Now, no, now I have to confess, I'm tired. <laughs> I am tired. But you know what? I don't want to go to bed without praying. And if me, if by me praying amen if it will help you i pray it will amen and that it will bring forth your deliverance for you and your household in the mighty name of jesus so we need to repent from any dealings that we have in our lives that has caused us to commit sin amen especially when dealing with rebellion and god forbid we don't want to be rebelling against god we want to be committed to the will of the father amen we want to be committed and surrendered to his way to his will and to his plans in the mighty name of jesus so father we surrender our life over to you completely we give our life completely to our lord and savior jesus christ father forgive us for the sins that we have committed internally father god with our heart with our mind god with the thoughts and evil imaginations that's right evil imaginations sometimes our minds drift off amen we begin to think about things that are not godly so we must center our mind with the word of god amen we cannot be conformed to this world so father we commit our mind to you we submit and commit our mind to you because your words say let this mind be in you that is also in christ jesus for father 
you say be not conformed to this world but be transformed with the renewing of the with the be let your mind be transformed with the word of god so our minds will be renewed amen romans chapter 12 verse 2 so we thank you father god as i make that declaration i thank you for your promises god i thank you for your deliverance in every area of our lives father god lord i speak the blood of jesus over our homes father god i speak the blood of jesus over each person that is in the house father god with those who contends with us in the body of christ father god I speak the blood, the blood of the Lamb, Father God, over each person. Lord, I release your anointing, God, your breaker anointing over them right now. Anything that has been placed upon them illegally, God, it's your anointing, Father God, that removes the yokes and dest that destroys the yokes and removes the burdens. According to the book of Isaiah, chapter 10, verse 27. So, Father, we decree that word right now, and it shall come to pass in that day that this burden shall be taken away from off thy shoulder, and his yoke from off thy neck, and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. So, Father, we speak that word, and we come in alignment and agreement with your promise, Father God. We thank you for the anointing, Father God. We praise you, Father God, for the breaker anointing. We thank you, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, for the anointing. We praise you, God, that the anointing destroys the yoke in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you that the anointing removes the yoke from off our necks, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus. And we praise you, God, as we bless your name in Jesus' name. And we thank you, Father God, that every generational curse is destroyed. It is broken. It cannot act against us because we are no longer in agreement with generational curses on our father's side generational curses on our mother mother's side we break those generational curses now in the mighty name of jesus jesus that's right break in the mighty name of jesus and we break the mountain spirits that came with those generational curses that's right those monitoring spirits that came through the generation through those evil wicked altars through those evil covenants that our forefathers fathers made amen they assigned monitoring spirits amen to their uh to their lineage amen to their future generation amen so we break all their assignments we destroy the monitoring spirits we break their assignments now in the mighty name of jesus anything that is monitoring my life be destroyed by the holy ghost fire be destroyed by the holy ghost fire that's right whoever you are begin to confess any monitoring spirit that is monitoring my life be destroyed by the holy ghost fire fire that's right begin to invoke the word of god be destroyed be destroyed be destroyed by the holy ghost fire every monitoring spirit from the fowl of the air every monitoring spirit that creeps on this earth every monitoring spirit under the ocean under the sea under the lakes and rivers that is monitoring my life right now be destroyed by the holy ghost fire be destroyed be destroyed in the mighty name of jesus yay god and i just bless your name father god i pray Praise you, Father God, that you have given us revelation and understanding, Father God, against those things that we cannot see. But we walk by faith and not by sight, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus. And because of our faith, Father God, we bring destruction and havoc to the powers of darkness in the mighty name of Jesus. You cannot be intimidated when you're praying. You cannot allow the enemy to to continue to bring havoc in your life and your children's children's lives you cannot allow the enemy to bring havoc in your marriage in your finances on your land your property your bank accounts saving accounts even in your health uh, you must pray and speak the word of god pray by fire by force in the mighty name of jesus amen the word of God tells us in the book of Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10 that we wrestle not I mean, against, uh, against flesh and blood. The word of God tells us that we are to put on the whole armor of God. Amen. Put on our protection in the mighty name of Jesus so that in the day of battle we will be able to stand. Amen. So put on the whole armor of God. Put on the helmet of salvation. Put on the breastplate of righteousness. Put on the belt of truth and let your loins be girded about with truth and your feet shot upon the preparation of gospel of peace. And have the shield of faith to quench everything 
every fiery dart of the wicked one and sword of the spirit by your side. Amen. And begin to understand that you are not working against flesh and blood. So your battle is against principalities, powers, rulers of darkness of this world and wicked spirits in the heavenly places. So there's different levels of warfare that we enter into. Amen. There's different levels of warfare and it's all about you and your faith. How far will your faith take you? Will you allow your faith to grow? Will you allow yourself to be tested? Will you allow yourself not only to be tested but be challenged? Amen. Every opposition is a victory. Amen. So you should be rejoicing and celebrating your victories in Christ Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So we just praise God that he has given us a revelation. He is helping us to understand the powers of darkness. The rulers of darkness. And how they operate against us. And you have to understand the spiritual warfare. These oppositions. They are knowledgeable how to operate in the spiritual dimension. Okay. So we must allow the Holy Spirit to train us up and teach us how to move from one dimension to the other dimension so that we can destroy the works of the enemy with the word that's why he says that we must pray in spirit and in truth amen because we cannot keep fighting the enemy with our flesh amen the flesh is sin and the wages of sin is death so god's weapons are mighty and strong and pulling down strongholds Okay, so the word tells us that the weapons of this warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty in God. So when you pray and when you fast and when you pray for your deliverance, you have to understand this must be done in the spirit because that's where it's at in the spirit realm. Amen. So we just praise God for the revelation and knowledge. It's important to know your position here on earth. It's important to know how God is going to use you to bring deliverance to your household in the mighty name of Jesus. I just wanted to share that with you because I, I'm, 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 I don't want to hear these stories of people who say they're praying and they turn around and say, well, God's not hearing my prayer. If you're praying the wrong prayers you are for you are forfeiting the grace of god the favor of god in your life god wants you to be surrounded with his glory god wants you to know his glory i mean god wants you to experience his power and his presence in your life amen so we just give god the honor and the glory we just thank him as we enter the midnight hour we just bless God that we are no longer bound and we are no longer stagnated. Amen. We are free because whom the Son sets free is free indeed. In the mighty name of Jesus. So, Father, we, do, we thank you for that word of wisdom, that word of knowledge. We thank you, Father God, for the automatic turnaround and breakthrough. We thank you, Father, for the power of the blood of Jesus. For, Father, your word says in the book of Job 23 verse 10, But he knows where I am going. And when he tests me, I will come out as pure as gold. Amen. So God knows where you're going. But God is going to test you. He's not only going to test you, okay? When I say you, I'm talking about me too. But the key thing is, is that God's got to get rid of the, the impurities in our life, the sin, the things that comes to pollute us. Amen. The things that come to hold us in bondage. Amen. It becomes a snare. Amen. Because God delivers us from the snare of the foul, from the noise and pestilence. But if we continue to walk in sin and not repent and we deliberately are not repenting that is rebellion amen and that right there will allow satan to have access to you and every area of your life because he's not just he he wants every part of you he wants your flesh he wants to eat your flesh and he wants to drink your blood because he's he's wicked he has 
no desire for you. He just wants to eat you. He wants to harass you. He wants to torment you. Yeah, that sounds gross. But if you look at the movies today and you look at these people, they're making these movies about zombies. And in order for them to live, they have to eat flesh and drink blood. Just like those vampire movies. In order for them to live, they, they have to drink blood. But their operation is at night. So that's why we are commanding the midnight hour that God will surround us with walls of fire and protect us from those vipers. I mean, protect us from those flesh eaters, those that drink the blood amen who loves to feast on our flesh who loves to feast on our blood amen we 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 decree and declare that we are covered with the blood of jesus and they cannot touch us in the mighty name of jesus they can't touch our children not even in our dream world amen don't be limited in your wisdom and knowledge of the word of god you must know what the word says amen Praise God. And the scripture says in the book of Psalms, Psalms chapter 5, verse 12, it says, For you bless the godly, O Lord, you surround them with your shield of love. So right now, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I decree right now your word that you are protecting us, God, with your shield of love. Amen. Amen. We praise God that he is protecting us according to the word of God. The the word says, for you bless the godly. Are you godly? Is there anything righteous in you? Because God is going to protect you. Amen. He's going to surround you with his shield of love. Amen. And not only is he going to surround you with his shield of love, but he's going to give you the shield of faith that's going to quench Every fiery dart of the wicked one. Every fiery dart that is being aimed at you. Even like in your internal organs. We speak the power of the blood of Jesus over you. We deploy your angels right now. That's right. Whoever you are. Deploy the angels of God. To stand guard at the entrance of your house. At the entrance of your bedroom. The entrance of your windows. Every entry point. Deploy the angels of God to stand there. With the consuming fire of God. To prevent any demonic spirit or any activity to enter into your home in the mighty name of Jesus to protect your children while they asleep or your grandchildren your family members those who contends with you amen praise God so we thank you father God for victory we thank you God that we are not limited in the mighty name of Jesus we are victorious in Christ Jesus we praise you God for the breaker anointing we praise you God for deliverance in the mighty name of Jesus we praise you father God that you Lord you lead us God out of destruction you lead us father God out of the spirit of infirmities they cannot touch us no more that's right father God every destructive spirit that it comes with sickness and disease it has lost its power over us their assignments are terminated in our life right now that's right whoever you are whatever destructive infirmity any sickness and disease anything that comes from the powers of darkness to bring havoc into your home it is terminated in the mighty name of jesus it is terminated it must die by fire holy ghost fire in the mighty name of jesus Amen. So we praise you, God, for the prophetic word that every wicked power and spirit that has been assigned to your daughters, to your son, to your sons, that has been assigned to their home, to their children in the mighty name of Jesus, shall collide with the rock of angels. Amen. Because you said, God, upon this rock, I build my church. And the gates of hell shall not prevail. So we thank you, Father God, that every demonic opposition shall collide right now with the rock of angels. Amen. Because we are victorious and we overcome Satan by the word of our testimony, by the blood of the Lamb in the mighty name of Jesus. That's right. Any sickness, any disease. Amen. That is coming to affect your life to cause havoc. Amen. And let me tell you something before I get off this uh, prayer. Um, Just like the woman with the issue of blood, she suffered for 18 years and the enemy drained her of her finances. This woman was drained because the law is that when a woman is on her period, she is unclean. And let me tell you something. When you are sick, you can't be around people. Amen. And so that means that it affects your finances because you can't go to work. There's certain things you just cannot do. 
So today, in the mighty name of Jesus, we decree and declare that you are healed. Amen. You are healed in the mighty name of Jesus. And any satanic operation that is working in your environment right now, it shall catch fire now by the Holy Ghost. Catch fire by the Holy Ghost. Catch fire by the Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus. That's right. Get into the prayer. Put on this prayer and allow the Holy Spirit to lead you and guide you into this prayer. And tell that demonic power or anything that's operating against you, whether you know its name or not, tell that demon, catch fire by the Holy Ghost. Catch fire by the Holy Ghost. Every demonic activity, catch fire by the Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus. Every spirit of divination that is operating in your city, catch fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Catch fire. In Jesus name. Amen. And we decree peace and love and harmony over your life. In Jesus name. And lack will not be your portion. And we praise God. Amen. Just 15 minutes of prayer. Just 15 minutes. Along with teaching. Because you need to be free. Delivered. Amen. From the bondage. That the enemy is trying to assign to your life but the only way he can have legal access if you continue to sin and not repent repent for the kingdom of God is at hand and I'm your host Jacqueline King prophetic utterance commanding our night commanding our day commanding the morning amen amen